Hey everyone, let me introduce an all new member to the Pack Talk line, Pack Talk Neo. In this tutorial, we'll show you everything you need to know about it. Pack Talk Neo comes loaded with premium technology. With a sleek, modern design and no pop up antenna, it comes with Cardo's second generation dynamic mesh communication, which is unrivaled not only for being a stable mesh intercom platform but in providing crystal clear wideband intercom for up to 15 users at a range of 1.6 kilometers between them, all while being insanely fast and easy to pair up. PackTalk Neo comes equipped with sound by JBL and the very capable natural voice operation. In addition, it supports fast charging, over the air software updates, USB type C, and the most advanced Bluetooth 5.2 chip on the market. This model comes stock with a two year warranty and like all Cardo units, PackTalk Neo is 100% waterproof. We'll start with a quick unboxing. We'll show you how to install this on essentially any type of helmet. We'll go over the basic operations, show you how to use it. And finally, we'll check out the available accessories that complement it. Now, PackTalk Neo comes either as a single or a dual kit. Dual kit meaning it has everything you need to outfit two helmets. In front of me, I have both. So let's crack this one open, see what's inside. Inside the box, you'll find a blister containing one or two units. Removing that blister, you'll see the documentation. That includes two pocket guides in multiple languages, which are picture-oriented and very easy to read. An installation guide, also picture-oriented, with a QR code to the Cardo Connect app and a QR code for the installation video. A flyer with information on how to update your software. You'll want to do that before the first time you use it. A safety and warranty document, a Radis card, and a sticker. The bottom of the box contains an accessory box with all the parts you need to install the unit onto a helmet. This includes a cradle with a clamp, a glue plate for installation on large rim helmets, an audio connector, a set of two 40 millimeter JBL speakers, a hybrid boom microphone for use on open face and modular helmets, and a wired button mic for full face helmets two speaker booster pads to help with adjusting speaker location inside the helmet ear cavities, a USB cable, two round Velcros, which are used when installing the speakers, two rectangular Velcro, which are used with the microphone, and two alcohol cleaning pads. Now let's see how to install the unit. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be covering a full face helmet and also a three quarter open face helmet. Keep in mind, these are the steps that you will follow if you're putting it into a modular helmet uh, as well. Remember for this, there's no tools needed. And if you find yourself in trouble, you can always refer to the installation guide. So let's do it. If your helmet allows for it, start by removing the cheek pads and headliner. This part isn't absolutely critical, but it does make the process a bit more straightforward and gives you a little bit more access to the inside of the helmet. Now you can tell immediately that both of these helmets have a little cutout that the manufacturer has put there uh, intended for a speaker. If your helmet doesn't have this, it doesn't matter, no big deal. But if it does, it's not a bad place to start. The most important thing is making sure that when you put the helmet on, that speaker lands right over your ear. So if that happens to be where the cutout is, great. If it's not, feel totally free to move it wherever that needs to be. So we'll grab both of the round speaker Velcro and begin to place one over each ear. At this point, go ahead and grab your speakers. I've got the plug on this side. You'll notice that one of the speaker wires is quite a bit longer. This one, the long one, is designed to go on the right side of the helmet. So starting with the short one, just go ahead and place that where you put your Velcro, where you presume the ear is gonna be, and place the speaker with the longer wire over on the right side. Now with that longer speaker wire going up and over top of the helmet, go ahead and put your headliner back in. We're done with that. And if your headliner was not removable, you can always just route that longer speaker wire around the back. Just tuck it in nice and clean and you'll be good. Okay, the speakers are in, the headliner is back. Let's turn to the microphone. In helmets like this, a three quarter, or in cases of a modular, we're gonna be using the boom microphone. So we're on the left side of the helmet and before you go to put any of the adhesive Velcro in, you wanna take the boom microphone and just kind of lay it in there and make sure you've got two good contact points to put that Velcro while also leaving yourself enough boom to get around in front of your mouth. That looks good. So we'll grab the Velcro, place those in the area that we know are gonna work. 
then grab our hybrid boom mic and go ahead and put it on. Be mindful, you always want that little triangle facing towards the direction of your mouth. Back to our full face for a second. This is where we could choose to use the wired button mic and doing so is very easy. Just grab one of those rectangular adhesive Velcros and stick it right in the front of the helmet in the area where you think your mouth might be. Then just grab the mic and place it onto that piece of Velcro so that when you put the helmet on, it's directly in line with your mouth. You have two options when going to mount the cradle onto the left side of the helmet. One is the clamp mount, two is the adhesive mount. And the way to figure out which one you're gonna use is by looking at this left side of the helmet. If this is greater than five millimeters in thickness, or as in the case with this one, you have a little hardware for the drop down visor, you're gonna to wanna to use the adhesive mount, which is what we'll do on this one. First, take one of the alcohol prep pads, make sure to clean the surface. And once that dries, go ahead and line it up real nice and stick it on. The longer you apply pressure, the better, and the longer you let it sit before using it, the better. Now on this helmet, the left side is very accessible. It's less than that five millimeter tolerance. There's no hardware in the way, so we will use the clamp. To put the clamp onto the cradle, just from the back side, slide it up from underneath. And then about dead center on the helmet, go ahead and force the clamp all the way up. Our adhesive mount is now ready for the cradle. And now we just need to connect the wires. Using the audio connector in your box, go ahead and plug in the microphone and the speakers. At this point, while leaving the tip of the audio connector outside of the helmet, it's all about just getting the cheek pads back in, tucking the wire away underneath the liner and getting it nice and clean. Essentially, the inside of the helmet should look like nothing really happened. And now for the best part, just grab the Pack Talk Neo, go rear first, push the front till you get the click. By the way, pushing down on this little tab is how you remove the unit. Go around back to plug in the audio connector and you are done. Now that you've finished installing the unit, let's learn how to use it. Pack Talk Neo comes with three activation buttons controlling media, mobile, and intercom. You have a clickable control wheel with an LED light in front of that and a round back, the USB-C port. With the inclusion of natural voice operation, you can do most things without having to touch any button at all. Just say, hey, Cardo in the command and it will take it from there. Uh, let's start. To turn the unit on, just press and hold the media and mobile button together for about two seconds. And to turn it off, do the exact same thing. Battery status, full. Now let's get into pairing. PackTalk Neo has two pairing channels specifically for pairing up to two mobile Bluetooth devices. Now this could be your phone, a GPS, or the bike itself if that bike has the ability to pair with a Bluetooth headset. To pair a mobile phone, just press and hold the mobile button for about five seconds. Phone pairing. You'll hear phone pairing in the headset. Then go to your phone, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. And when you see PackTalk Neo show up, go ahead and select it. Phone connected. You'll see the LED go purple and the pairing is done. Now to pair with a second mobile phone, you actually press and hold that same button for five seconds. Phone pairing. And then roll the wheel forward. Second phone pairing. You'll hear second phone pairing and then just repeat on the second phone what you did with the first phone. To pair with a standalone GPS system like a Garmin or a TomTom, -Tom, press and hold the mobile button, five seconds. Phone pairing and then go ahead and tap it one more time. GPS pairing. Now on the GPS, go to the Bluetooth settings, find language about pairing with a headset and select PackTalk Neo when it shows up. And if you're gonna be pairing directly to the bike itself, press and hold that same mobile button, five seconds. Phone pairing. And then to get into bike pairing, roll the wheel backwards. Bike pairing. Lastly, if you find yourself in the wrong pairing mode or somehow got into pairing mode and didn't want to be, at any time, you can press and hold the mobile button for two seconds to cancel it. Pairing failed. And start over. Now, before you start, you want to make sure that your unit is running the latest software. Doing so can help make sure that it's free of any bugs, but also gives you access to the latest capabilities. Uh, remember, with this unit, there's no cables needed. It's all done over the air. Start by downloading and opening the Cardo Connect app. And once they find each other, 
you'll be asked to register, name your unit, select your language, and if there's a software update available, you can choose to update now or maybe later. Let's do update now and that'll start immediately. There we go, the update is complete and this unit is now up to date. So we'll select finish. And if you'd ever like to just check what version software you have, go to settings, click the name of the unit and your software version will be seen right there. Clicking it again, you have the latest as of right now. If there was a software update available, we would see it here. When looking at the app, you'll notice that there's quite a few settings that you can set or adjust whenever you'd like to. Some of which include changing your preferred language. This would change not only the language that the unit speaks to you, but in most cases, the language that you would use for natural voice operation. In audio profiles, you see bass boost, high volume, which actually increases the overall volume output, or vocal, which is good for podcasts or eBooks. In audio settings, you see something like automatic volume. Now this is off by default. If I turn that on, the system will then raise or lower the volume based on ambient noise, and you have a low, medium, or high slider where you can adjust that sensitivity. There's plenty of options here, and I would go in there and dial it in so it's perfect for you. Now let's see the main functionalities. To increase the volume, simply roll the control wheel forward, and to decrease, roll it backwards. Now you can also do that with a voice command. Hey Cardo, volume up. Hey Cardo, volume down. You have a mute audio option, which comes in really handy in a variety of different scenarios. Now this one is voice command only, and to do it, issue the command, Hey Cardo, mute audio. Mute audio. When you do this, it lowers all incoming audio to the very background, uh, and it deactivates the microphone. To get out of it, simply roll the control wheel forward or issue the voice command, Hey Cardo, unmute audio. Unmute audio. In addition, you also have the option to mute just your microphone. Now this comes in useful in intercom scenarios where you may or may not want the people in your group to hear what's coming through your microphone. You can do this manually by tapping the media and intercom button together. The microphone is now muted. To reactivate it, do the same thing. And the voice commands for that would be, hey Cardo, mute microphone. Mute microphone. The microphone is now dead. Nobody hears what you're saying. Hey, Cardo, unmute microphone. Unmute microphone. And the microphone is back. And lastly, your phone's voice assistant. You can always just tap the mobile button to pull that up on your phone. If it's an Android phone, you can simply say, OK, Google. Or in this case, I would just say, hey, Siri. Of course, PacTalk Neo comes with total phone support. To answer an incoming phone call, you can either tap the mobile button one time or just issue the command, answer and that'll pick up the phone call. If it's a call that you'd rather not take, you can roll the control wheel backwards or just issue the command, ignore. Now you'll notice that the phone is still ringing and it will continue to ring until it goes to voicemail, but as far as my helmet is concerned, I've moved on. I'm no longer hearing the ringtone. And once you're on a call and it's time to hang up, you can either tap the mobile button one time to end the call or just issue the command, hey Cardo, end call. To redial your last number, you can either press and hold the mobile button for two seconds, or issue the command, hey Cardo, redial number. Redial number. To set up your speed dial, you need to first go to the Cardo Connect app, select the phone area, and the very top one is set for speed dial. So let's set that. Find the contact that you would like to assign to it. Hit set, and that's now locked in. Then to use speed dial, you can either tap the mobile button two times or issue the command, hey Cardo, speed dial. Speed dial. When it comes to listening to music, you can of course stream that from a device that stores it locally or make use of the many different music streaming apps that are available. I'll show you first how to control the music just using the buttons on the unit itself, and then we'll run through it again using just voice commands. I have the Cardo Connect app over here just so that you can see what's going on. So to start the music, just tap the media button up front one time. That gets the music going. If you'd like to skip forward to another track, a single tap of the media button. Single tap again to go forward. And two taps to go back. To stop the music, just One, two, click. 
the roller wheel in the back. Now to do that same thing using just voice commands, it would go like this. Hey Cardo, music on. Music on. Hey Cardo, next track. Hey Cardo, next track. Hey Cardo, previous track. Hey Cardo, music off. Music off. In order to share your music with another Cardo headset, you first need to pair the two of them together in Bluetooth intercom mode. Doing so is the way in which your unit knows which headset to share that music with. If we look at the Cardo Connect app, the music share icon is grayed out. That's because it hasn't been set up yet. This is how to do it. Go to the intercom section, and at the top, switch your headset to Bluetooth intercom mode. Bluetooth intercom mode. At this point, on the A channel, select pair. Rider A, pairing. Do the same on the other headset. Rider A, ready. And once those have successfully paired, go on ahead and go back to DMC. DMC intercom mode. Exit out of this, go back to music, and we'll see now that the music sharing icon is ready to use. Now, once you have your music going, a two second hold on the intercom button will now share that music with that other headset. Sharing music. Both are now listening to the same track. Now to stop the music share, it's a two second hold of the same button. Music is now just in this headset. Of course, there's also the voice command. Hey Cardo, share music. Sharing music. PacTalk Neo has a built-in FM radio, and this is how to use it. To turn the radio on using just the buttons, it's two clicks of the front media button. 95.5 And to turn it off is just like turning off music, click the roller wheel one time. Now, of course, you can do that with the voice commands. Hey Cardo, radio on. Radio on. 95.5 And off. Hey Cardo, radio off. Radio off. To activate the scan function once the FM radio is on, it's three taps of the front media button. 97.1 The unit will now scan for the clearest stations. 102.7 okay, And when you're ready to stop that scan, just give it a single tap of the media button. Golden hour on kiss. Now you'll notice when looking at the app, you have room for six FM presets. When you find a station that you like, just press and hold on that preset, and that will lock it in. If we want to find some more... 104.3 just go ahead and scan. 88.1. Say I wanted to save that. I can lock that in as well. And lastly, up at the top right, there's three little dots. You can auto-tune presets. This will now find the six strongest ones in whatever area that you're at and load those six stations as your presets. If you'd like to change one of your presets, just press and hold it. You'll see a pencil to edit. Go ahead and change it to whatever you'd like. Or you can hit the little X to clear it out Hit save, and it's now an open spot again. Once you have your preset set, a single tap of the media button will advance to the next preset. 92.3. Single tap again. 93.1. If you'd like to go back, it's a double tap. 92.3. And for the voice commands, hey Cardo, next station. 93.1. That'll go to your next preset. Hey Cardo, previous station. 92.3. To go backwards. If you're streaming music and would like to switch to the FM radio, just press and hold the front media button for two seconds. Doing the same thing will switch the audio from FM radio to music streaming. This can also be done on the quick access screen of the app. Now let's see how to set up and use DMC. PacTalk Neo is a communication system that enables groups as little as two or three riders all the way up to 15 riders to hold an open intercom conversation at a rider to rider range of 1.6 kilometers or about a mile between them. DMC is always on, will automatically reconnect riders the moment they're within range, and is just constantly working in the background to optimize the overall connection. Grouping riders in DMC is easy, it's fast, and it's the same exact process whether there's two of you or 12 of you. I'll show you first using just the buttons, and then I'll show you how to do it using the app. There's no right or wrong, it's completely up to you. So everybody, just press and hold the intercom button, which is the upper one. Grouping initiated. 
This can all be done at the same time or kind of one-on-one -on -one like I'm doing it Searching now. Searching for group. As these go purple, they're already in and they're already talking with each Searching other. Searching for group. Last one. That one's now searching grouped. For the group. three of these are already active. They're in an intercom. They're talking. This one is still searching, searching to see if anybody group. else is joining, and then it will shut down, at which point these four units are connected. Searching for group. Intercom. Grouping succeeded. Three group members connected. So let's do that again, this time using the app. We have this unit connected to this phone. Go ahead and select intercom. Now on this page, we see that this unit already belongs to a group. Had it not, we would see the option to start grouping on this page. Since it does, let's go to the top right. And now at the bottom, we see start grouping or leave group. We'll go ahead and select start grouping, at which point we have the option to name this group, whatever we would like. And the unit is now going to go into grouping mode. If the three other units that were here were paired with a phone, grouping they initiated. would do the exact same thing. Since they're not, we'll just do these ones manually. Press and hold Searching the intercom button. Group. Both of those went purple almost immediately. Let's do the last Searching one. Searching for group. Searching for group. That one's in. On the mobile phone, we see that three riders have already successfully Searching connected. For group. The three of them are already talking. We don't have to wait. Let's just hit finish. Grouping succeeded. Three group members connected. And there we go. All three of those members now populate on the app. If you'd like to add somebody new to this group, look right below the group name to where it says add riders. We'll go ahead and hit that. And then the top option, pair more riders, go ahead and select Grouping that. initiated. We take the new member, same thing, press and hold the Searching intercom button. For group. Purple almost immediately. That Searching means that they are in, they're already talking. We'll go ahead and hit finish. Grouping succeeded. Four group members connected. Done. As a quick note, this unit was able to bring this unit into this group because if we look under the group title, it says you are the group admin. However, if I were to switch to my other group, it says I'm a member of this group and as such, I'm unable to add anybody to this particular group. Let's go back to our core group of four. I'm gonna turn this one off and we should see that reflected in the app here in a second. Every rider has the option to mute or unmute the group. And what I mean by that is a two second hold on the roller wheel. This person, I'm no longer hearing the group and they're no longer hearing me. It has no effect on them. They can all still talk freely, but I'm basically checked out. When I unmute, I'm now fully back into the group. They can hear me, I can hear them. If you plan on using the private chat feature, which is an incredible capability of DMC, allows you to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with any member of your group, I would first recommend going and naming your device. You do that by just going here, unit name, Type any name that you would like to have. Make sure to save that. Now back to the screen, which shows my group. Instead of just saying Pack Talk Neo, Pack Talk Neo, Pack Talk Neo, these would actually say Ron, Brian, Lindsay, and whichever one has this little lock symbol next to it is my private chat person. To activate private chat, it's two taps of the intercom button. Private chat on. I'm now having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with that person without affecting anybody else. And to go back to the group as a whole, two taps again private chat off. Now, say I quickly wanted to talk with somebody else in the group, I can simply select their name. Private chat on. Private chat is activated. Private chat off. And now that is also my new private chat person. If you were to take a phone call while riding with a member of your DMC group or the entire group as a whole, you have the option to share that call with your private chat member or the entire group. Now, if you have the app open, you can do that just by selecting on the app. This phone call is now going to the entire group. Or I can select to share that phone call with private just my chat private on. chat person, which in this case is this bottom one. Private chat off. To do that manually, two clicks of the intercom button. Private chat on. Would share that call with your private chat person. Two clicks. Private chat off. And if you wanted to patch that call into the entire group, you would just hold it down for two seconds. That's a very useful capability, especially when you have somebody with a non-cardo unit that might just be paired to their phone. If that person calls any member of the DMC group, that member could then patch them into the entire conversation. Now, if this rider, which is paired with this phone, wanted to add a passenger that was just using a normal Bluetooth intercom, which in this case is a cardo, but it doesn't have to be, 
simply go down to your menu again, select add rider and say pair new passenger. Rider A pairing. This is now in the mode for pairing. On the Cardo, we would just go to normal intercom pairing. Rider A ready. And they're now connected. Now to activate this passenger and bring them into the entire conversation, it's three clicks of the intercom button. We can tell by the app that the bridge has been done and now all five of these are communicating with each other. To bring the passenger out of the conversation, and it's back just to those four. PackTalk Neo is fully compatible with any other Cardo communication system, whether it's running DMC or the more traditional Bluetooth-based intercom but you can also connect it with any other intercom from any other brand. If it's just gonna be you and a Bluetooth only intercom system, so one that does not have DMC, you're gonna to have to go in and switch Bluetooth intercom mode over to Bluetooth intercom mode, at which point you have an A channel and a B channel, both open and intended for Bluetooth intercom connections. To pair, simply hit pair. Rider A pairing. And on this unit, we'll put this in pairing mode as well. Rider A ready. Those are now successfully paired on the A channel and we can see that represented in the app. We also have the B channel open and available. Now, it doesn't have to be a Cardo unit. We can put this into pairing mode. Rider B pairing. And if your Neo is running version 3.0 or higher, then the non-Cardo could go into universal pairing mode and pair up in that fashion. Uh, since I'm not sure how to put this one in that mode, you can always go to the mobile phone pairing of the non-Cardo for a successful pairing as well. Rider B ready. Those are now connected and ready for intercom. In Bluetooth intercom mode, a single tap of the intercom button is for your A channel. Intercom is now open between these two, a single tap to close it and your B channel is a double tap. B is now open, intercom is here, double tap to close it. You also have the option to use the voice command. Hey Cardo, call intercom. Call intercom. Regarding battery, the unit will give you up to about 13 hours of use time between charges. When you go to turn the unit off, it'll actually give you a readout of the current battery status. And if you're ever curious midday, just use the voice command, hey Cardo, battery status. To charge, simply free up the port and connect it to power. With fast charge, 20 minutes should yield you about two hours of talk time. And you can go from empty to full in about an hour and a half to two hours. Now to preserve battery, say if you're riding alone and you're in DMC mode, you can always switch it over to eco mode using the Cardo Connect app. If for some reason you need to reset your unit, you can reboot it by pressing and holding the media and intercom button together for about 10 seconds, or you can reset it all the way back to factory settings by pressing and holding all three buttons for 10 seconds. And of course, to make the most out of your PackTalk Neo, just have a look at the pocket guide. For accessories, we have the second helmet kit with Sound by JBL. Now, this kit comes with the cradle, the boom mic, the wired mic, the Velcros, the 40 millimeter speakers, literally everything you need to outfit an additional helmet. For example, you buy the Neo, you take it home, you outfit one helmet, but what about this helmet? With this kit, you can simply pop the module off of one helmet, pop it onto the next one, and be on your way. And that's it. For more information, check out the PackTalk Neo pages on our website. Thanks for watching. See you next time.